Hey guys, how's it going? I'm back here with another video and this is the next video of my series where I teach you guys React Jazz from the beginning. And today we're going to be learning about the third hook that I'm going to be teaching, which is the use ref hook. And I've taught already the use state hook and the use effect hook. And this is probably one of the easiest ones, but also one that most people get confused on. I was really confused when I started learning it. So I wanted to make it clear for everyone who is watching this video. So basically in React, you will probably realize that we're not using certain functions or certain things that we usually use in vanilla JavaScript. For example, when you want to reach an element in, in JavaScript, in normal JavaScript, you will probably use something called get element by ID or get element by class, which basically grabs an element from the DOM and you can manipulate it the way you want. But in React, we have to do it in a different way. And the way we do it is by using the use ref hook. So, I'm going to be creating an example right now. And it's basically an example of some situation where you would probably need this hook. So in order to create a ref, you need to write const and the name of the ref, the ref. In my case, I'm going to be grabbing the input equal to use ref. And you give it an initial state, I'm going to give it no. So basically, I'm going to have in my screen or in my application an input and I want to manipulate it. And as you can see, I've already imported the use ref on the top. So if you haven't done this yet, please do it. So now on my inside of my render, I'm going to create an input of type equal to text. And I'm going to create also a button. And the first thing I'm going to show you with you guys is basically a, a an application where you can click a button and it will change the placeholder of the input. So uh, let me say change placeholder. And basically, if you guys don't know, a placeholder is basically when you have an input right here, you can see that it's in, it's empty, right? But if you write placeholder, it's a property from HTML, which basically you can give an initial value that won't actually be the value. It's just something that appears in the input. So uh, what's up, something like this. And you can see that now there's what's up written over here. But when you click it, it's not actually over there. It's just something on the input, right? So what this ref is going to do is basically it's going to grab the input and we're going to change the placeholder through a function. So I'm going to be changing when I click the button, right? So um, change placeholder and I'm going to create a, a function called change placeholder. So const change placeholder and here over here, I'm going to grab the input. So input and also I forgot we need to add the property to the element we want to grab, right? So I want to manipulate the input. So I come here and I give it a property called ref and I link it to the ref we defined above. So input and now we just grabbed this input. And over here, I can say um, input dot current and dot current is basically what you need to do every single time because it's basically grabbing whatever the value of the input is currently. And I want to change the placeholder. So I can use a function called a placeholder and I can give it a value. So YouTube, whatever. And let's see if it works whenever I click the button it changes to YouTube. And normally you wouldn't be able to do this on React because it's not vanilla JavaScript. You can't implement the same tech, the same, you can't implement the same things you used to implement when you were working with normal JavaScript. But this has a lot more use cases and I'm going to demonstrate which, how you can see which use cases this has. So basically you can console log the input dot current and you will be able to see everything. So I'm going to inspect element and I'm going to look at the console and when I click the button, no, it's not dot current. You need to console log the input, right? So when I click here, you see current and you can see everything that you can change with this input, right? So there's a bunch of stuff and it's really interesting. Let me see something more cool. So, um, let me see. I'm actually going to, just use one of the most famous cases, which is, you know, when you click the button, you want to focus on the inputs so that you don't need to actually click on the input to write. So if I come here 
and I write input dot current dot focus and this is a function you see that when I click the button it's now focused right so I can write over here whenever this wasn't here I'm gonna comment this out and I clicked here I had to actually click here to be able to write on the input and these are very simple cases you'll probably never use them like exactly like this on a real application but this is a good like setting base for what the use ref hook really is and it's not actually very far from what you'll probably do in a day-to-day -day case so if you want to look at everything you can do you can literally uh, console log the the input and look over here and there's everything that you can change on this input and it's a very interesting thing to do it's one of my favorite hooks it's probably one of the easiest ones like i said but it's also one of the hardest ones to start grasping i try to make it as easy for you guys to understand as possible but i remember how did how I remember how hard I thought it was in the beginning. So basically, there's thousands of things you can do in here. I'm going to change the value, which is something I, th I feel like it's, it's cool. So basically, you can give it a value. So I'm going to give it a value. And the value is going to be what's up. So you can see that whenever we render or refresh the screen, there's already the word what's up written here. This is what value means. But I'm going to change the value over here. So input dot current dot value equal to subscribe right so when i save this and i click this button it will change to subscribe it's it's just simple things that makes this hook very useful right so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys learned from it and if you like this video please comment down below and i see you guys later